Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach who has lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss. And one of the things that I have done from day one is meal prep. And today is Monday, so it's meal prep Monday. I have a breakfast, a lunch, and a dessert snack for you. This is something I do every single week. It has helped me stay on track and again, reach my 140 pound weight loss as well as maintain that weight loss for about the last year and a half. So if you're excited for another meal prep, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because again, we do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will have my recipe website. That is where you will find all three of today's recipes, actually all the recipes that I've created over the years here on my channel, as well as nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those macros and calories. That is what I followed to lose my weight, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or if you just wanna talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our free Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. So for my breakfast this week, I'm making lemon sour cream waffles. Now I do not own a large waffle maker, only a mini. So I actually think I'm going to make mini waffles. That way I can toss them in my toaster, throw them in the air fryer to crisp them up for breakfast each day. My plan is to pair this with some type of protein, turkey bacon, my chicken sausage, whatever you have on hand for protein. You could even do some eggs. So let me show you what you'll need. So I'm going to do a mix of all purpose flour and fiber gourmet flour. The recipe calls for wheat flour as well, but I'm subbing fiber gourmet because it has fiber and protein and 55% less calories and points than regular flour. So it's going to save calories, points, give me fiber, give me protein. You can't tell the difference. I love this fl flour. You actually buy this off of Nutrition. I do have a discount code for Nutrition. I will link it for you. And then for sugar, I'm doing allulose. I do buy my allulose off of Amazon, so I'll link that as well. Fairlife milk, lemon juice, vanilla extract, two eggs, sour cream, a couple of fresh lemons, baking powder, and some salt. So to make the waffles, we're adding one and a half cups of flour to a large bowl, a teaspoon of baking powder, a pinch of salt, and then we're actually going to zest in two whole lemons. So a lot of lemon zest. Zest both of those lemons completely. And then go ahead and mix together those dry ingredients. And then we're going to add in all of our wet ingredients. So we have half of a cup of milk, one full cup of light sour cream, a tablespoon of lemon juice, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two whole eggs. And I almost forgot the sugar, so three tablespoons of allulose. And then we're going to mix this to combine. Just make sure you don't over mix. You'll make your waffles kind of spongy. So just mix it until everything is combined. I'm gonna grab out my little mini waffle iron and get that warming up. So I'm using my little Dash mini waffle maker. I actually got this right off of Amazon. I'll link it for you. I'm going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. Add in the batter. Now I'm not sure how many waffles we're going to get. We'll just see what we end up with since I'm using the mini waffle maker. Close that up and when the light goes off, it's ready. All right, the first waffle is done. Ooh, that looks so good. I always spray in between all of the waffles. So I guess let's see how many we end up with total. So I ended up with 10 waffles total. The recipe makes eight servings. So I'll probably end up having 10 servings. Maybe I'll do five servings, two every day. I will actually put all of the information for eight waffles since that's what the recipe technically makes. Remember, I used the small waffle maker, so I ended up getting a few more, but these smell amazing. So lemony, I'm so excited. How fun would blueberries be on this or some Chia Smash? So I'll put all the information here on the screen for you. For my lunch this week, I'm actually making mini meatloaves, turkey, apple, mini meatloaves, but I think I'm going to make these in my muffin pan. It calls for the mini muffin pan, but I'm going to do the full size muffins. That way we have little mini meatloaves for the week. Pair this with some carbs, some healthy fat. I'm really excited for these actually. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need salt and pepper, 99% ground turkey, 
an apple, one egg, a small onion, I have half of a huge, huge onion, tomato paste, garlic, Dijon mustard, and some thyme. So I've added my pound of 99% ground turkey to a bowl. I'm going to add one egg. I grated up that onion as well as the apple. I'm adding a big scoop of minced garlic, salt and pepper, a tablespoon of tomato paste, and I just realized when I was looking at the recipe that I did not tell you we need flour and ground flaxseed, so we do. So let's add all of this and then I'll go get the ingredients that I missed. So moving on to Dijon mustard, we want about a tablespoon, and this is optional, but I am definitely going to add it some thyme, you can use fresh or dried. So you're going to need a third cup of ground flax. I have no idea how I missed that when I pulled out all of the ingredients. And then a third cup of flour. And then we're going to mix this all together until fully combined. So I have my oven preheating to 350. I'm spraying my muffin pan. Again, you can use a mini muffin pan and get 24, but I'm going to shoot for 12 of the turkey muffins. So I ended up with 10 muffins. These are super low calorie, super low point. I will at the end give you all the information for 12. You'll just fill yours a little less full, but I'm okay with 10 muffins. These are going into my 350 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until they're cooked through. So the little turkey mini meatloaf muffins are out of the oven. These smell so good. I'm going to allow these to cool, package them up for the week, and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here are the little mini turkey muffins. These look amazing. I'm just going to pop a lid on the container. We got a little piece of turkey and they'll be ready for the week. So I'll put all the information here on the screen for you. So for dessert this week, I'm making strawberry dump cake. This is so easy four ingredients. So let me show you what those four ingredients are. First, you're going to need a low sugar or zero sugar cake mix of your choice. Again, I'm using my allulose sweetener from Amazon. I'll link it. Light butter. I always use light butter when I cook because it breaks down when you cook it anyways. So this will just save calories, points, fat. And then I chopped up two pounds of fresh strawberries into slices. So the first thing we're going to do is pull out a nine by 13 baking dish, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. Then we are going to take our two pounds of sliced strawberries and just spread those out evenly in the bottom of the baking dish. Like I said, this is like a dump and go recipe. And then we're going to take half of a cup of our allulose and sprinkle that right on top of the strawberries. And then we have three quarters of a cup of our light butter. And what we're going to do is just drop that into pieces right on top of the strawberries and sugar. And then we're going to sprinkle our cake mix on top. Now you can do the cake mix on top of the strawberries and the butter on top of that. Whatever your preference is, as it bakes, as it melts, you just wanna make sure the butter just covers the cake mix so that it cooks through. And your cake is going into a 350 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes. So I just pulled the dump cake out of the oven. I don't know if my butter just didn't spread a lot, but I'm hoping that it kind of finishes doing its thing while it cools. I think this is going to be a little bit more like a cobbler consistency, which I'm fine with. It smells amazing, looks amazing. I'll go ahead and put all the information here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. In the description box, you will find nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come on over, join my free supportive Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching and here's to a successful week. Bye.